I guess I'll do this, uh, just post the information that I post in longer videos for those who don't really care to listen to what I have to say, which I understand. So I want to pass along the Fullerton Informer's interview with a woman who lost everything in Paradise, California. And she is talking about what happened in Paradise before the fire, during the fire, and does say that she believes that they they targeted the perimeter of Paradise so that people couldn't get out. Yes, we are at war, and people are being targeted, and people are being killed. People are dying. This interview, I hope that you listen to it. Uh, it the interview itself starts at like 13 minutes. But what this woman has to say, it's important. It's important for all of you to hear, but it's important for all of you to circulate. There's a new fire in San Bernardino, rapidly spreading. It started at 10 p.m., your time in California last night. Uh, the vegetation fire started near Highway 15, where Sierra Avenue meets Riverside Avenue. It grew in one hour from two acres to 20. Fire continues to grow to the south under influence of Santa Ana winds. No evacuations are in place at this time, and I sure do hope that they can get this contained so more people do not have to suffer. And we've got looters stealing AR-15s and chainsaws? God, who knows if it's even true. But apparently people have been arrested. Yeah, mugshots reveal most horrible um, portrayal of ourselves. But apparently people are are going to areas that have been burned out, stealing what they can. Yep, lowest of the low. You can listen to this video where people are talking about how difficult it is to find places. The Paradise Survivors. Wilson? You, know, you, you talk about communities, and this is a story really about communities. We're in Cherokee, and this is the Cherokee Volunteers Company 67 Volunteer Firefighters. Now, the people in this community have been asked to leave, although not everyone did. The, the folks right across the street, for example, are still here. But you think about how many tens of thousands have either lost their home or been displaced by this fire. Where do they all go? Well, that is that is proving to be quite a challenge. Uh, so we finally made it to Oroville and uh, stayed the night at somebody's house that we didn't even know. And then we got uh, reservations here in Marysville. We land here because we went to a evacuation center first and um, it was it was horrible. So we looked for a motel. This was the closest motel that we could find. I feel like if you're here, you were lucky to get a hotel room. Oh, no, we were. We were in Chico at first, and then everything in Chico is booked. So we had to leave Chico today to come here. There's 30 to 50,000 people up there, and we all have to go someplace. Okay, so then they go on to donate the American Red Cross. Well, uh, unfortunately, the American Red Cross don't really help very many people. They keep the money. And please tell your fellow Americans to stop donating to the American Red Cross because there is an awful lot of information out there that shows that the American Red Cross is thoroughly corrupt. They've already taken in millions. Google American Red Cross, just on the Paradise Fire, where's the money going? 
thousands upon thousands need help right now, immediately, they get the immediate funds from donations, but they don't seem to trickle out to help the people in need. Um, donate, if you know people in this area, donate directly to them if you trust them. A Twitter page that was uh, sent to me by a subscriber, which I really, I, I'm passing it along, Tina Mucci, I'm not sure if I've pronounced your name right, Tina, I apologize if I have not, but clearly awake, and um, she points out here the California high-speed rail system that just so happens to be in the area of these fires. Yes, they do want to get everybody into a mega region. If you have not done the research on Agenda 2030, Agenda, Agenda 21, America 2050, then do that research and you will find that the United States is no longer, it is being reshaped into mega regions. Many areas will not have any kind of human habitation. Human habitation now is for only the mega regions, 10, 11 mega regions. Um, and that is where everybody will be controlled. Every aspect of your life will be controlled. So you got to do the research um, to find out what is going on. I, I'm getting a lot of comments from people saying, why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? You've got to do the research. You have to, and look, there, there are countless videos on YouTube. Just put in Agenda 2030 and you will find an awful lot of information. Put in uh, America 20. 50 mega regions, and you will find an uh, awful lot of people have done the research for you. They've posted the information on YouTube, myself included. So, please do the research, and you will understand more why they are doing this. So, thank you, Tina, for being awake, for posting important information and research directed energy weapons. Oh, how green, how lush, how wonderful. Pine trees go up in seconds. It's like lighting a match for the pine tree. All of these homes taken out, the pine trees right behind them, perfectly fine, intact. Something is wrong with this picture. People need to start opening their eyes, opening their minds, so that they get the obvious. This is deliberate. We are at war. All links are below.